can't stop okay, okay, hustling okay, okay. every minute, every second. Uh, baby, what's up, y'all? It's over here, boy. A bros, brews, and botches. Yo, you know what it is. It's another episode of our summer Advent series. And you're like, y'all, man, I thought that's Jason Voorhees rolling up. No, it wasn't Jason. It's just your uncle. But it is day number 13. Yo, see that segue, baby? Yeah. All this stuff in this Advent calendar is by the Menhaus Brewery in Monroe, Wisconsin. And I should have probably tried them during the holidays, because that's why some of them ain't turned out very good. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out what's up on day a one tree here. I'm going to get this glass out of the way. I feel like if I don't do that, I'm going to end up breaking my fancy glass, and it's going to hurt my heart. Is this 13? Yes, yeah, 13. I have to pre-open them, kind of, without peeking before the video, because if I do that and I have to tear into it, it takes me like 25 minutes. Yeah, let's get rid of that here. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, 5% American Amber Lager. Check that out right there. We'll bring Fancy back into it. Don't let me down, baby. And uh, with amber ales, you can usually expect it to be kind of copper in color and like a reddish color. Um, maybe not true. Maybe more like just clear, but I usually get more like a copper thing out of them. And they're usually made with what's called New World Hops, which often imparts like a uh, stone fruit or a resiny or sometimes piney taste to them with a little bit of maltiness. These typically have like a moderate to extremely high malt flavor. So if you like malty beers, you ought to try an amber. Let's go ahead and smell it. This one smells a little like butterscotch. Joe knows what I'm talking about. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so for me, this thing has like actually like a little bit of caramel notes to it. It's kind of weird. Normally, it's not uh, present in these. I mean, it's not usually overpowering. I usually pick up, like I said, little things like uh, pine, resin, things like that. Yeah. I mean, this right here is probably not my favorite amber I've ever had. And uh, usually they'll say amber ale or amber lager. That probably a difference in how they fermented it because one's top fermenting and one's bottom fermenting, meaning it has to be fermented at a colder temperature. But for over here, boy, this is going to be a three out of five caps. This thing right here does have a pretty good malt flavor to it, but like I said, there's something off with it. Uh, and I can't really figure out what it is. Surprisingly, it's not buttery, so I don't have no diacetyl this time on it. Anyway... Uh, you already know, check it out down in the description and all that. See where you can find the boys and the bros and the brews and the botches. Yeah. And that's it. I'm done talking about it. I love y'all, and we'll see you tomorrow for day number 14. Maybe. Probably.